Hey everybody, Topher here, and this is my first uh, edition of 2013 Blaster Busters. Uh, and I'm using, of course, uh, today's release, well, today's release of uh, Topps Baseball Series 1. Uh, found this one at Walmart. Uh, my usual spot of Target uh, did not have any. Thank goodness there was a Walmart nearby. Let's get into this right away. Now, of course, anyone that knows me knows how much I love to use scissors because, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I've got big, fumbly, fat fingers, so I would rather not destroy the cards, not destroy the box. One thing you might notice about these uh, blasters, aside from their smaller size, uh, that's what the company started using last year. Other than that, is that uh, whether it was because of my constant bitching or not, um, you'll notice that uh, on the blaster box, Tops does no longer advertise a bonus pack. No, it's just 10 packs. It's not 9 packs plus 1 pack. It's 10 packs. Kudos to Tops for that. They've also included an exclusive commemorative patch inside the box. You'll either get a rookie patch or you'll get a commemorative patch relic. Um, checklist is on the back. I think there's 25 subjects on each. The Walmart boxes, of course, get blue parallels. Targets would get red. We'll save the uh, exclusive patch card for last. Because we all like to be surprised, don't we? Alright. Get these packs out of here. And uh, we'll get going, of course. Uh, Prince Fielder on the front. I'm a Twins fan, so I don't like the Tigers, so I don't like seeing him on the front. Let's see how cleanly I can get this ripped. Well, close enough. Almost got her cleanly. So I've been kind of singing the praises of the 2013 design. Now let's see how they look in person. We've got uh, John Axford. They look nice and clean. Nice, uh, nice use of uh, the uh, the cardstock. I heard they're a little bit different this year. I don't know if it's so much the cardstock that's different as it is maybe the uh, the, the, the top coat is different that they use. So uh, uh, Dodgers, Josh Beckett. I don't think that's a short print. Uh, we've got uh, Tyler Skaggs, rookie card. And then we've got a, a mini of A-Rod. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily think I'll be keeping that one, but I do like the minis. And we've got a Walmart blue, it's kind of a baby powder blue, Justin Masterson wearing a throwback. And John Danks. Again, I'm a Twins fan, so I'm not really caring for these uh, AL Central teams that I'm pulling instead of my own. <laughs> and uh, David DeJesus and Randy Choate. Now just remember as you're watching this, these are going to go up in the Take My Card section of the blog, which uh, if you're unfamiliar with uh, Crack and Whack is up at the top. Click uh, Take My Cards, follow the directions there. Um, basically I'll be giving these away for nothing more than a SACE. And if you don't know what a SACE is, SACE stands for self-addressed stamp envelope. I'm not asking for money, nothing nothing like that. All right, next pack, we've got Alex Rios in a throwback uh, White Sox uh, uniform. Now let's take a look at the back side of the cards here. Um, as a graphic designer, I do have to appreciate that they did um, bring the main design elements and themes to the back side for consistency. It's very nice. Um, Dave would like this, I'm sure he probably has it already, Brian McCann. Russell Martin, I've seen someone uh, make mention that they thought this was kind of an annoying card. Uh, I agree because it's a Yankees card. That's just me. Rookie card of Miami Marlins, AJ Ramos. And then we've got a million dollar chase insert card. It's a code card. That's a keeper. Uh, Jim Johnson, Walmart Blue. Ian Kennedy, Walmart Blue. And we finish up this pack with New York Mets' Dylan Gee. Looks like this one was cut just a little bit off. Now, one of the minor, I don't want to say complaints, but uh, critiques I have of this design this year, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more detail as I'm pulling a Kendris Morales is the faded striping at the bottom. Number one, it fades out and ends there, and then there's a big 
bunch of white space on this side. My thought was either to carry it over, kind of like fade it out so it doesn't hit underneath the name, but then reintroduce it over here, or make it a solid color that fades, or get rid of it altogether. Uh, it's just something about that that just isn't, it didn't look right on the digital proofs that I saw, it doesn't look right on these cards, I don't know, it's just something that isn't hitting me very well. Uh, my first Twins pull, and this was at Target Field, uh, Jamie Carroll. Now, I'm not necessarily keeping these Twins, we'll see. Uh, Tony Singrani, rookie card. Then we've got a Chasing History insert of Ricky. Would Ricky like this? Of course it would, Ricky would like this, it's a Ricky card. Then we've got a Walmart Blue Ryan Howard. Walmart Blue of Dustin Ackley. Now that's a good color scheme. That's a good match for the powder blue. Um, Stephen Drew, A's. And Clint Barms, or is it Barmas? I don't watch enough Pirates games to know how that's pronounced. I can't believe I haven't had to take a pair of scissors to these packs yet. I usually absolutely destroy the wrappers which uh, with the wrapper redemption probably wouldn't be so great. Oh, I've got a die cut I'm seeing here. We'll get to that in a second. We've got Anthony Rizzo, Adam Jones, and we've got a U Darvish chasing the dream insert. Interesting idea. Uh, certainly looks like an insert. Uh, Dustin Pedroia cut to the chase die cut. This is a very nice card. Nice and shiny. Very refractory. And of course it's die cut. Everyone loves a good die cut. Uh, we've got a Walmart Blue Jeremy Hellickson. If you haven't uh, been able to tell here, it's been two Walmart Blues per pack. Jason uh, Jason Isringhausen and Jeff Keppinger. So that was the third pack, or was it the fourth pack? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're about halfway through. And, oh, I need to take the scissors. First one, first one. Well, I'd rather do that than destroy the cards. There we go. Get that out of the way. Johnny Cueto. Eric Hosmer. I know a few people that would uh, enjoy that card. Uh, Will Venable, of course I'm not really paying attention right now anyway if these are the out of bounds short prints. I don't think I noticed any out of bounds short prints yet. Uh, Ricky Romero, got another mini, another Dustin Pedroia. You Red Sox fans are going to have to jump on these. Walmart Blue of Daniel Hudson, Walmart Blue of former twin Luis Ayala. He was there for a cup of coffee, I think he lasted about half a season while they were still in the dome. And we've got Colby Lewis. I still have my case coming yet. I was hoping it would be here today. It doesn't look like it's going to get here for another day or two, if not longer. Those of you that are participating in my uh, Top 13 Series 1 case break, um, I'm guessing it'll get here by the end of the, this week, if not the beginning of next week. If that is the case, we will break that case next Wednesday. We've got Josh Johnson, Miami Marlins, Jose Reyes, Toronto Blue Jays, Jerkson Profar, Rookie Guard, and we've got an Emerald Parallel of Chris Davis. Very shiny. We've got a Colin Carr, Albert Pujols. Now these do look a lot nicer in person than I thought they were going to. Here's the back side. Nice little insert. Um, Adrian Gonzalez, Dodgers, Walmart Blue. So, Jim, Greg, if you need this, let me know. Joey Vato, Walmart Blue. And Javier Lopez, Giants. Third, fourth to last pack here of the main set. Rafael Soriano. B dubs Brian Wilson. Chris Davis.
Got him in a Blue Jay uniform. We've got Chasing History Mark Burley. Paul Canerico in the Walmart Blue. Jacoby Ellsbury in the Walmart Blue. Mitch Moreland. And Alex Cobb. And for those of you that are watching this, um, also I am giving away a full jumbo hobby box of 2013 Cops Series 1. Uh, to get in on that, you'll need to be on Crack and Wax. You'll need to look at the left sidebar. Um, or is it that way? Well, wherever the left sidebar is compared to where you're looking. <laughs> Uh, there will be a donate button. You donate five dollars to the Make-A-Wish Foundation through that button on Crack and Wax, and you'll get uh, entered to win a full jumbo hobby box of this stuff. That's uh, I believe it's 500 cards. Um, yeah, that's a good deal. Five bucks for a jumbo box, and you'd be donating to a really great cause. We got uh, James Shields here, Ian Desmond. <clears throat> Then we've got uh, 2012 NL Earn Run Average Leaders of Kershaw, Dickey, and Cueto. Dickey being a former twin. A-Rod Record Chase 3000 Hits. So that's a checklist card. Then we've got another code card. Justin Upton Diamondbacks. Baby Blue. And yes, come on, Fahuku Gods just came on in the background. Uh, Alex Car uh, Gordon, Walmart Blue. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Um, Jason Bay was the last card of that uh, pack. Now let's get going on to the penultimate pack, as I always say. Starting out with Vernon Wells. Then we got St. Louis Cards, 2012 NLDS Game 5, not a checklist card. Uh, Melky Mesa, rookie card. We've got a mini of Matt Holliday. Very nice looking cards. Very nice looking cards. Walmart Blue of AJ Burnett. Walmart Blue of Raphael Fakal. And then there's Chris Coughlin and Jeremy Guthrie. All right, final pack of the main set here in the blaster on the blaster busters. We're gonna start out with ooh, a throwback of JJ Putz, Arizona Diamondbacks, the Grandy Man, Curtis Granderson. We got Mark Reynolds. I don't know which way that's going to go. There we go. Chasing the Dream, Devin Mazarocco. Walmart Blue of Brett Lowry. Walmart Blue of Robert Andino. Ramon Santiago. And finishing out is Michael Brantley. Hey, I, you know, there are only four Twins base cards in the whole Series 1 set. I'm surprised I pulled even one. All right, so here it is, the commemorative patch. Will it be a rookie or not? Let's see who it is. It is... Let's see, which way am I going to do this? Let's do it this way. Oh, look at that. That's a nice card. I like that very much. Ryan Braun. It says, congratulations, you have received a commemorative patch card of Ryan Braun. While I would have loved to have gotten a rookie, this is actually quite nice. I do like that one. All right, well, that uh, that does it for this blaster. And, uh, you know, like I was saying before, this is a very nice design. There are just a couple things I would work on. Uh, the cardstock is, is excellent. Uh, the coating. Um, Looks like it's going to be nice and, and uh, signable uh, for those that are chasing uh, TTMs or IP autographs. Um, and once again, uh, those who are doing the case break with me, um, more than likely going to happen next Wednesday. 
Um, for those of you who would like to get on a chance to win a full jumbo hobby box of this stuff, um, go to Crack and Wax, look at the left sidebar, whether it's that way or that way. I don't know which way left is while I'm looking at my camera. I'm guessing it's that way. We'll see. Um, and look for the PayPal donate button. You click that button and it gives five dollars to the Make a Wish donation or uh, Make a Wish Foundation and gets you entered uh, to win a full jumbo hobby box of Topps 2013 Series One. So, uh, and also, last but not least, um, pretty much all these cards are going to go into Take My Cards. Um, that's your way of getting these cards for, for nothing more than a self-addressed stamped envelope. You don't need to pay me money or anything like that. No trades, nothing like that. You just go to the top of Crack and Wax, click on Take My Cards, and find out how to get them. Um, these will be going up later today. They won't be up right away, so just wait for the, the, the list to pop up once it comes up. You can pick and choose whatever you want for free. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for joining in. Sorry for the interruption there. And... Uh, have fun cracking that wax, all right? Talk to you guys later. Bye.